Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a very exciting one and a long time coming. I have been so excited to make this video but this is the start of the bulking diaries. Your girl is bulking again. It is the, what's the day? 4th of September and it's Monday and this is day one of my bulk and I thought I would just document it for YouTube just because why not and I feel like you guys all like really love the bulking content so I'm really excited to take you guys along on this next phase in my training obviously I'm going to be in a surplus as you'll have seen for breakfast I started with protein oats it is kind of a default for me when I'm bulking although I don't really enjoy them that much <laughs> I feel like it's just an easy way to get carbs in fats in and protein and it's also super quick to make so I just kind of try and force them down myself and um, but I feel like once I like the more I go through the bulk the easier it is to consume them because I just kind of get used to eating them whereas if I haven't had them in a while and then I have them they can just make me want to gag does anybody else get that with protein oats but yeah I am hoping to do this bulk for around six or seven months that's what I did last time um, so we'll just see how it goes. I am currently sitting at 55 kilograms body weight. I'm five foot two. Just in case anybody wanted to know, I know that this is quite like a sensitive topic. So if this is kind of like a journey that you do not really want to follow along with me on, that's completely understandable. I know that speaking about calories and stuff can be um, very sensitive for some people. So I completely understand if you do not if you do not want to follow along on this journey with me. But I feel like I just want to kind of give you guys as much information as possible so i feel like i am going to speak about what calories i am currently eating but i just want to make a disclaimer and basically just say that these are calories for me please do not like just go and copy these calories just because i'm eating them like you need to work out the calories for your body your body weight your height your energy expenditure everything like that um so yeah you need to work these out for you personally okay hey this is mia from the future but i just was editing this back and i realized that i didn't actually tell you guys how many calories i'm currently on so i'm currently starting at 2700 calories um obviously with the aim to gradually increase that over the coming weeks and months um but my maintenance is around 2200 now that may seem like a big jump to go to 2700 but as i said just then my metabolism is very fast and as someone who has bulked a couple of times i feel like i'm quite experienced in eating in a calorie surplus this feels comfortable for me personally to jump up a little bit um and i can personally get that much food down um so i am personally comfortable with doing that but if you are someone that has maybe never bulked before or you don't feel like you're really that experienced i wouldn't recommend jumping up in calories as much as that i would recommend maybe increasing it above your maintenance by maybe 100 to 200 calories and then gradually increase it as you go on this is just what i'm doing personally um but as i said just then as well please do not copy these calories do not copy what i'm doing because my calories are for me not for you so i just really want to reiterate that but that is what i'm personally doing i'm sitting at 2700 calories maybe in the next week or two i will increase that to 2800 900 and then to 3000 and then so on and so on um but yeah i just wanted to basically give you a little bit more of an in-depth explanation as to how many calories i'm eating yeah i just want to say please do not just copy these calories like they're not going to work for you if you literally just copy that just because i've said that you maybe need to get a coach that can tell you what's right and what's wrong or just kind of work out for yourself do your own research i currently don't have a coach and um, i'm just doing it myself as you guys will have seen i took some checking pictures this morning but it's like just a check-in with myself i'm not checking in with a coach or anything i just personally just love doing this whole journey on my own and i feel like i'm very knowledge very knowledgeable on the subject so i feel like i just love just getting my head down and just working as hard as i can especially during this time where i'm in a gaining phase just getting my head down and getting shit done it's just like the best feeling ever and just the littlest things like tracking my food working training my house off in the gym it just rocks my world it rocks my little world and i just love it i just love my routine and i love just love the whole thing about this journey it's just so fun <laughs> but yeah i thought i'd just say that at the start of this video i'm gonna make this into a little bit of a series not every single video of mine is gonna be bulking related but i thought i'd make it a little series and do like an episode every so often of 
just basically focused on my bulk talking about it quite a lot and showing you guys what i eat and everything um but yeah i'm just about to head off to the gym i'm training glutes today first session of the bulk and i'm really excited to just get on with it and just grow these glutes and hamstrings so of course i'm going to take you guys along with me I am wrecked. Get me home to my post-workout meal. Alright guys, I'm back home now from the gym and I've had my dinner and prepped my meals for the week. I'm just going to do some like housey bits now. I need to like put all this washing away and stuff. Sorry if you can hear noise outside my windows. I just opened but I need to put another load of washing on the drying rack because we got back from Portugal yesterday so I'm still getting through like the holiday washing and stuff. But yeah, I had a really good session this morning. I didn't feel my best. Obviously, I've just had a week away in Portugal like I feel like I'm I feel like I don't know about anyone else as well but when I'm on holiday and stuff I feel like this is the complete opposite for a lot of people but I don't eat that much and I don't know what it is I think it's because like the meal times and everything are always a little bit more messed up than when you're at home and um, so I don't eat as much and when I go away to somewhere like warm I feel like my appetite is just not there like compared to home it's just it's just not there and I wasn't putting too much pressure on myself to you know like eat a lot more because I just genuinely wasn't hungry um, and it's also because I knew that I was going to be starting my bulk when I got back so I just kind of took it easy on myself but obviously in turn that means that I didn't have as much energy for my session today just because over the past couple of weeks my eating's been all over the place I was in London literally the a few days before I went to Portugal too as you guys will know um, and I feel like whenever I'm on shoots and stuff like the food, the eating and everything it's all just messed up as well and um, meal time's just not really there um, and I find myself not eating as much as I should be 
so basically for like the past two weeks my eating has been a lot lower than I would like it to be but that's completely fine we're getting it back up now obviously my gaining phase has started today and it's currently going really well so far I had a really nice breakfast I feel like breakfast is the hardest part for me I've literally said it on my channel so many times but like I struggle so much with breakfast I am just not a breakfast person it just doesn't rock my world at all no breakfast I don't like any breakfast like I feel like just when I wake up the first couple of hours like the last thing that I want is food but I know that the more that I ease myself into this gaining phase the easier it will be over time it always is like that with me I feel like I just kind of get used to it it's just kind of like muscle memory I wake up and I'm like right I need to eat because the times that I have tried to train without breakfast and I've just maybe had a little snack like towards the end of my session I always regret it because I just feel so weak and like depleted so we don't want that <laughs> so I feel like it's really just I have it anyway because you know it's the most important meal of the day blah 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 what everyone says <laughs> but it is actually true I feel like it just sets your day up like on such a positive note and yeah it just makes me feel so much better okay, calories are looking good for the day so far so are the macros as well if you didn't know about like what macros are and stuff i will just like kind of tell you a little bit because i know most people will know but i know that some people might not know so your calories are obviously it's how you quantify food basically it's what the food is worth basically that's the number of calories there's calories in all food that's just how you quantify how you like measure food basically if you want to lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit which means you are eating less calories than you are burning so your energy expenditure is higher than the amount of calories that you're eating and then for maintenance it's equal so the energy expenditure and the food that you're eating is equal so you won't lose weight or gain weight and then a calorie surplus is when you're eating more calories than you're burning so your energy expenditure is lower than your calorie intake which in turn makes you gain weight which is what I'm doing right now but that is just to put it simply I feel like that whole concept is really overcomplicated on the internet but that is it put as simply as possible i get asked all the time how can i lose weight how can i gain weight that is it calorie deficit or calorie surplus or obviously if you want to maintain your weight eat at maintenance calories and then i'm going to talk about macros a little bit so your macros are your proteins carbs and fats which are the three essential macros that you need in your daily intake and then you've got micros which are your micronutrients which is your fruit and veg and all your vitamins and um, but for the macronutrients so for protein it is kind of like said as a whole that if you want to build muscle you should be eating approximately i think it's like two grams to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight i think that's roundabout right and that is if you want to build muscle your carbs want to be the highest macro out of the three and then your protein and then your fats ideally want to be the lowest um obviously it completely depends on everyone's goals and stuff maybe if you are doing keto which by the way i do not recommend to anyone if you are doing keto people's fats are obviously going to be higher than their carbs but i would only ever recommend extreme diets like keto if you are maybe intolerant to certain things and you kind of have to do it for your diet but other than that if you just want to do it as a weight loss diet i would highly not recommend <laughs> i am just an advocate for not cutting out any food groups not cutting out any food whether it's considered bad or anything i solely just believe in everything in moderation is the most optimal diet not even just for physical goals but for your mental like stability because if i had to cut out chocolate forever i think i'd be depressed like that would be a huge problem for me and just having little snacks here and there every single day also just curbs your cravings as well and makes you want to have those things less i feel like when you cut those things out completely just sends you on a rampage and it makes you just want to eat so much more of it whereas if you just had it in small amounts in moderation it does curb that craving and it makes you feel like you don't have to you don't want to eat it all the time hey greenies i was sneaking up i saw you vlogging and i didn't want to interrupt <laughs> look how tanned you look that strip can you see it <laughs> Okay guys, please ignore the dishwasher. I've just put it on after cooking my dinner. But I just wanted to interrupt this bulking video with an ad. So this video is kindly sponsored by Timu, which I'm really excited to tell you guys all about because when, when I tell you, when I discovered this brand, I was looking through their site like surely not. They have 
literally anything you can think of on that site. Genuinely, anything you want, search it in, it'll be on there. And it is so affordable. I was actually just looking for everything, like, surely not. It's so, so, so affordable. If you guys are wanting literally anything and you are on a budget, I would highly recommend this brand. I'm just gonna show you some of the things that have kindly been sent to me. And it's gonna look so random. Everything is just so random. But this is everything that I picked up. And just from what I've got, you'll just be able to see that they basically have everything. That's kind of the idea that this haul is gonna give. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with candles. That website is genuinely a haul. I could be in a scrolling hole for hours on that website looking at candles. There's thousands on there. So these are two that I picked up, Aroma Sensation candles. And I just like to burn these in my bedroom, in the living room. They smell super good and I love the packaging. And then I also got this really cool one. It's got some like little gems in it. I put this in my living room by the telly and I just think it looks super cute. I'm not gonna burn it just because I feel like it looks too nice. And then please ignore the mess on this tray because I have just been burning incense on it. But I got this really cute tray. It does have legs on it, but I've just not put them on yet. Really cute gold tray that you can just basically put whatever you want on it. I've put some candles on it and an incense. These two candles are also from Timu. And you probably get the vibe from my flat, but these candles are just absolutely rocking my world at the moment. Just like cool patterned candles that just look cool and that I don't have to burn. And then I got this really cute little grapefruit candle, which actually smells so strong. I've nearly burned through the whole thing, but it smells really nice. I just put it on next to my incense. And then moving on, same with candles. I could be scrolling for hours on this website looking at wash bags. How many wash bags does one person need? I think I've got about 10 at this point. But I got these really cute ones from Timu and I've been looking for some like this for the longest time that like have writing on them and I feel like these are just perfect. So I got a smaller one, just says wash bag on it. Obviously this is the white version and then I got the pink version. I literally just took this away with me to London, actual lifesaver. So as you can see, it's got two whole separate compartments. So when I took it to London, I did makeup in one side and skincare in the other side. Then I got this, I've been looking for one of these kinds of bags for the longest time for just like little things when you go away it's just a nice fabric material and i feel like these are kind of hard to find because most wash bags are like plastic so i really like this i took this away with me as well and moving more onto the beauty side of things i picked up all these lip balms how <laughs> cute are these honestly things like this i am a sucker for i think i've got two more flavors as well not that you eat them it's not flavors but scents <laughs> they're like little mini lip balms and they're so cute i have one in my handbag one in my gym bag one by my bedside table and they're just everywhere and then these ones guys these this is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life this little lip balm it looks like a honey pot and then it's got a little honey stick for it so you can put it on your lips like that is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life and then this is the other one that i have so as you can see it's got like the little thing in it again the little applicator it's li it's like a little honey i don't know what you call these but it's all just like honey vibes and it's just so cute and then the lip balm is inside and then this is one of my favorite things that it's just rocking my world because i feel like it's just my kind of vibe for my flat right now and it just goes in my bathroom it is my earbud holder basically like how convenient is that i feel like the plastic holders for the cotton buds are just not cute this is just so cute i feel like just little things like this is one way to just jazz your bathroom up a little and then got this big tub of beauty blenders which is just a bit of me i have taken two out because i've been using them <laughs> but you cannot go wrong with beauty blenders i've got a few hair pieces so i've got all these hair bands you get all these in one pack so you, as you can see there's so many different colors and i love these like for the gym and it's also the kind of like giving blair waldorf which is just my vibe at the moment as you guys know and then i got these clips in a pack of four i'm wearing one in my hair right now <laughs> i was gonna get some of these and this parcel just came in perfect timing but yeah these just like for the gym when you've got freshly washed hair like this are just perfect and lastly my trusty parcel opener <laughs> this is my new favorite thing i didn't realize how much i needed one of these until now and then some of my favorite products 
are the glosses. As you guys can see, I have an absolute abundance of glosses in this cupboard. And I would say like 50% of them are from Timu at this point. But I've got these really nice like wine glosses. I also got these like just perfect staple glosses for my coffee and stuff. But yeah, if you guys want to check out Timu and just have a look on the website, have a little gander. There is a link in my description and I do also have a discount code which will get you an extra 50% off. Which the products are already like so, so, so affordable anyway. But yeah, the link will be in the description and I will put the code on the screen if you guys want to check out Timu. I'm going to head out into town soon. I'm just waiting for Anton to get back from the gym. But we're going to go into town and do some shopping because it's the 4th of September, which means it's autumn, even though we've got a heatwave right now in the UK. I'm still in the autumn spirit. I'm going to go to TK Maxx. I'm going to go to Primark. I'm just going to buy loads of pumpkin stuff because why the hell not? I'm also going to go to Zara because I need to upgrade my autumn winter wardrobe not upgrade i need to actually start it because <laughs> upgrading it would mean that i already have some pieces which i do not i also need to do a huge clear out of just all of my clothes gym clothes normal clothes but that is a problem for another day but first of all i'm gonna have my greens my creatine and my glutamine It's on the bed. Yeah, I'm just gonna have this now and then me and Antoine are gonna go into town. But if you guys wanna get any supplements from EHP, you can use my code Mia, which will get you 10% off. Do it. <laughs> Why is your face like so damned? EHP, use code Mia Green. Mia. Just Mia, <laughs> M-I-A. Get your money off. Antoine got me some cute flowers yesterday. Also guys, I forgot to mention that I got these from Timu as well. I just think they're a really cute, like colorful addition to my like kitchen living room area. Cause I have got like pops of color everywhere with candles and stuff. So I feel like that's just really cute. Guys, we're just gonna head out now. This is my outfit, all honor. This is my outfit, where, where is it from? all represent next Nike. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go Halloween shopping, even though there's a heat wave. <laughs> anyway, see you later. I've not spoken to you in a while, but me and Anton went out into town and I went to TK Maxx and Primark and Zara actually. I would give you a Zara haul, but I really cannot be bothered. So I'm going to give you a TK Maxx haul. I was kind of disappointed with the lack of autumnalness, although we do have a heat wave, so I guess it's, I guess I'll let them off. But I got two sand and fog candles. This one is cinnamon pumpkin and it's a cute like top. Just, oh, just love the smell. And then sweet pumpkin cinnamon bark. Please ignore the washing machine. This is sweet pumpkin cinnamon bark. I just love the tops of these sand and fog candles, but they're basically all just pumpkin and cinnamon. And um, this is chestnut pumpkin. And I just liked how this looked. I liked how it was orange. But yeah, they all smell unreal. I think I'm gonna save them and burn all like my summer flowery, linen candles first and then i'll light these when the weather gets colder so that's what i got and i'm just basically popping on because i'm showing you what i'm having as a snack this is basically turned into a what i eat in a day um but i'm gonna have a protein yogurt so these are the oh my gosh why is that so loud these are the ones from arla and i can actually bear these like i can eat these and i actually really enjoy them this flavor anyway i'm not really a fan of like the fruity ones but this salted caramel flavor is elite and it, it actually does genuinely taste really nice promise you um but i have a little trick i'm not sure if i've spoken like told you about this on youtube but what i do is i basically put some cheerios inside this and it's just a bit more of a filling snack and obviously has more calories in getting some carbs in as well as just your protein um and i don't know i feel like i'm a very textured person you guys know me um and the texture of yogurt can sometimes make me feel a bit gaggy so if i've got something crunchy in it it's nice it defeats the whole gaggy thing so yeah give it a try if you haven't already these are just cheerios but i guess if there was a chocolate yogurt you could put cocoa pops in it or whatever the world's your oyster so i'm gonna have that and then i'm actually gonna go well not gonna go to bed but i'm gonna just do some more work and then just chill out but i am gonna end this video here 
I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the bulking videos. I'm so excited to make more. Um, the next one, we're, I'm not really sure what it'll be to be honest, but the one after that is going to be an LA vlog, guys. I'm going to LA with honour. Can you believe it? Like, I, I feel like I've just not really processed the fact that I'm going to Los Angeles. I'm going to LAX with honour. And I literally can't wait for any of my American girls or girls that live in LA or anybody that is going to the Honor Active event because the tickets have sold out already. Um, but if you guys are going, please let me know in the comments. Just send me a little comment saying that you're going to be there. I literally cannot wait. Um, it's just like being given the opportunity to see so many of my, so much of my community from like a whole different country. It's like crazy. So I literally cannot wait. I'm so excited. But that will be vlogged 100 percent don't worry about that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye